British filmmaker Ridley Scott is set to receive a star at the Hollywood Walk of Fame on Thursday morning outside LA's um, Egyptian theater, which begs the question why Hollywood has waited so long to honor the man who has created some of cinema's most unique moments. Yes, during his career, Ridley Scott has won three Oscar nominations as director. He got a nomination for Gladiator. He actually went on to win Best Picture for that. Thelma and Louise, of course, and the Somali war-inspired Black Hawk Down. He's probably most famous, though, for directing some of science fiction's crowning cinematic moments, Alien and the now cult favourite Blade Runner. Well, earlier I spoke to Professor Lawrence Knapp, lecturer of film studies at the Oakton Community College in Illinois. He's also written a book on Ridley Scott. I asked him why it has taken so long for Scott to get his star. This happens frequently with uh, commercial filmmakers who are great storytellers, but for some reason become marginalized because they're so successful and prolific. Uh, I mean, let's face it, he was nominated for uh, Gladiator, uh, as well as Thelma and Louise and Black Hawk Down, and Gladiator did win Best Picture, and um, he's been quite busy <laughs> working since the mid-70s, and I wonder if he even minds because he's so busy. He's a very astute businessman as well. He can see what the next big thing is going to be, and he moves pretty quickly. Um, we know that uh, maybe Russell Crowe was going to be attending and speaking at this unveiling ceremony later. He, of course, starred in uh, Ridley Scott's Beautiful Mind. In your mind, though, what is it, do you think, that makes him such an accomplished director, so unique? When you're watching a Ridley Scott movie, you really know you're watching a Ridley Scott movie, don't you? Well, Ridley Scott is a master of mise-en-scene because of his background in art design. Uh, he uh, places a premium importance on the look of a film, the atmosphere, the visualization of the film. He is so good at adopting genre that he's actually revived a number of genres and, and given them an entirely different look and feel. For instance, a science fiction film. Uh, building off of uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey, he essentially gave the science fiction film a fresh look with Alien and a dystopic look with Blade Runner and returned to it later with Prometheus and the Martian. But he also changed the war film with Black Hawk Down. I don't think you can uh, uh, imagine a film like Hurt Locker or Zero Dark Thirty or even American Sniper without the innovations of Black Hawk Down, the new urban warfare of the 21st century, the, the shutter speeds, the use of uh, film stock, what have you. He completely changed the look of the contemporary war film, and it's a look we take for granted today. There we go. That's Professor Lawrence Knapp, lecturer of film studies at Oakton Community College, Illinois, talking to me about the great Ridley Scott and his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame.